What's up, what's up, my beautiful, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel, Plant Slots Book. Before we get started with today's video, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure that notification bell is turned on. That way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts a video. Today, as you guys can see by the title, we have a lot of plant chores to get done. I'm just going to be doing basically a fall cleanup. I need to repot a plant. I need to just do like a pest prevention. So I started with two plants already where I just went and I sprayed them down with neem oil, rinsed off the leaves, things of that nature. So that's basically what I'm gonna go around and do today also. That plant I bought in my 500 subscriber celebration video, um, literally like immediately after I brought it home, it started to go down here. Like, and when I say immediately, I mean immediately. I don't know if it was a change in the environment. I don't know what happened, but it immediately started going downhill. And basically the leaves was just like, the big, the big tall leaves that you guys seen in the video were just like snapping and falling off. So I lost two of the big leaves. I have one left and that one is basically doing the same thing even the small ones are doing it i'm just going to repot it i guess get it out the soil try to get it into a better soil mixture and see what happens with that so let's just go ahead and get started with today's video <laughs> tackle this big alocasia hilo beauty i'm gonna get it out of this pot see what the roots are looking like and hopefully get it into a more healthier soil mixture and hopefully fingers crossed we'll see some changes so let's just go and get into that going to basically start over with this plant i'm not going to chop all of it but i am going to get rid of a good chunk of leaves so that way i can try and grow a more healthier plant because clearly this one has some issues going on 
I'm not quite sure what those issues are. I've been checking for pests along the way, but I'm not seeing anything. So I'm going to cut off all the bad, ugly looking leaves before I even start to repot, as you guys already seen I've been doing. And then I'm going to wipe it down with neem oil before I repot it. I'm thinking about if I should cut off the, the big leaf that I just showed you guys, the one that's like just dragging because it's not it's not yellowing or anything it's just maybe i can save that one i don't know maybe i'll i'll think about it so for right now i'm going to stop cutting and i'm going to wipe it down with neem oil <laughs>
guys can see, this plant is no longer living. It's not happy. I don't know what it wants from me. I kept it watered. I even changed the soil. I added it to the greenhouse. And honestly, it's just not coming back to life. So I think this is where this plant journey ends. I don't think I'm going to try to care for it anymore because it's just not working out. So let's say goodbye to Mr. Begonia Rex. For this spider plant, I was just going to do the same routine that I've been doing so far. Spraying it down with some water, spraying it down with neem oil, and then watering it. But I'm actually going to repot this and put it in a better soil mixture because I'm constantly getting just dead yellowing leaves and I'm not liking it. And the soil mixture doesn't look the best. So I am going to repot this baby off camera. I will show you guys what the roots look like though when I get it out of this pot. To save time, I'm going to repot this off camera and then I'll be back when it's all finished. Oh, I will be keeping it inside the same pot like I did for my Alocasia Hollow Beauty. I'm not worrying about upsizing. I'm more so trying to get them to be healthy. So the goal isn't to make them grow bigger. It's to make them grow healthier. Okay? <laughs> well, growing big is important, but right now that's not the goal. 
Thank you.